afternoon, this is Don from Dr. Smoke, and today we're at Henry's Barbecue in Austin, Texas. Here for a quick work trip, and uh, we stopped on the way from the airport. We've got a Henry's Barbecue. It's uh, definitely a different place, so we wanted to check it out. We love these small places. They look like they're family oriented, so let's go check out the menu, see what they got, and uh, hopefully we can talk to them in here. So first you've got your menu. Brisket, ribs, pulled pork, uh, Elgin sausage, and that's from that's from Elgin, Texas. That's where they get it from. Bunch of different sides. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is, is maybe go in the kitchen, take a look at it, and uh, and also check out what smokers they use. So all right, so we got Joe from Henry's Barbecue, and sure. uh, I think I want to see the smoker because yeah, you know, on in. yeah, man, let's see what you got. So I got a 500 gallon offset smoker with post oak. 500 wow. gallon? Yes, sir. Man, that's huge. And I got this little thing on too. It's called the perfect draft. Just kind of help you with uh, keeping good airflow in there. Uh, kind of shorthanded, so it helps out with just making sure the fire is good, clean fire. So, as long as the uh, best tip for good barbecue is, you know, make sure you have good, clean fire. That's, that's everything. Right yeah, there. absolutely. Clear smoke. Clear yes, sir. smoke. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, check this bad boy out. That's yeah, a nice, nice smoker, man. Yes, sir. Got the. Uh, Got a Pour few briskets on. on right now, yes sir. Nice. Got some brisket. And I have pork butts on here and rib later on right now, so it's empty in the meantime, yep. but a lot of smoke room out there, pull out racks. But you're right, that nice clear smoke, that's exactly what I yes, see sir. coming out yes, of it. Yes sir, yes yep. sir. Cool man, and what temperature do you normally cook at? I like to keep it at 250, no more higher, no higher than 275. Um, and uh, I got a little, little tricks I have, but like I said, uh, 275 is what I like to keep it under. 250 right now, you can see at 275, 250 in the back, but. I keep the briskets more in the back side, kick it you know, more low and slow, yes sir. Cool man, and do you wrap the brisket at all? You wrap anything? I do, I do wrap briskets. Um, they get about six, seven hours of smoke on them, then I wrap it and you know, a lot of preference here on butcher paper or foil. I, I use foil. Uh, when I started years ago, I could never find butcher paper, so mm -hmm. I kind of honed my craft just with what I could use in foil, and it's kind of, it's worked out for the best. Uh, keep a lot of jus too in those briskets once you're done finish them, a lot more, a lot more flavor as well. But brisket, it would, Put your paper is, you know, can't go wrong with that as well. Exactly. And, and I found out, like, when I'm doing ribs, right, like, yes, if I use butcher paper, they tend to dry out more. Yes, sir. In the aluminum foil, it just seems like it holds the juice, just like you were saying. Like, yes, I, sir. I, I find the same yeah, exact like thing. Yeah, like I said, and, uh, you know, it's real popular for butcher paper, but like I said, when I started years ago, I just could never find the butcher paper, and like I said, foil was what I had, and it's kind of just worked out for the best term absolutely man yes, sir. and now do you go by a certain temperature when the brisket's done or are you looking for the consistency like when it uh, feels like it butter goes, uh, it's just each brisket's different so it goes off time as well and like i said they get a minimum of 12 hours of smoke uh, total time um so there is kind of a, a certain more more on feel i guess go by on the briskets and i really don't go for internal temperature more on the feel of the briskets like exactly yes, yep sir. yep make sure as i like, get that butter feeling when yeah, it's done definitely like no resistance and yeah yep. let them and then the, i think more important too i think some people forget about it is it's the rest time. It's real important to give your brisket a lot of rest time. Absolutely. And uh, one more thing I wanted to ask you is, yes, uh, since I don't use offset smokers, is how much wood do you burn? Like, let's say if you're going to fill this up, you yeah. know, how many how many pieces of wood do you put in there? Um, well, I really don't use count as far as that day. I don't keep up with it, but I know uh, for the most part, I get a, I go through a quart of a quart of wood uh, a month. Awesome. Yes, sir. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate you showing us the smoker. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, you know. Contributing to our YouTube channel, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Well, welcome to Texas. We appreciate it. Yeah, buddy. Yes, yeah, sir. we love Texas. Yes, and uh, thank you very much, bud. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate your time. Again, this is Joe from Henry's Barbecue. Yes, He's sir. in Austin, Texas. Uh, right us. outside the airport. So you guys better come yeah, see right him. If you're, in, yes, sir. if you're in Texas, man, it uh, definitely feels like you're at home, like you're you're eating in the backyard. Yeah, and that's what I like too, about it. We're in the process of, of renovating that building. So uh, we're trying to get that done as soon as we can. A few more weeks out, but... You know, indoor dining and uh, got our beer license in the work, so getting all that trying to get all that wrapped up. You know, awesome, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate well, it, guys. Thanks again from Dr. Smoke. Thank you. Hey, come visit Henry's Barbecue in Austin, Texas. It's even talking to you. We're in the outdoor area, getting ready to, to eat some lunch. And uh, I think the most important part is checking out what the food looks like. So I got brisket. Looks like a good smoke ring there. Mac and cheese. Can't go wrong with the corn. And what do you got there? Elgin sausage. Elgin and sausage the ribs. and the ribs. Everything looks good. Mac and cheese. Potato salad. 
Got some drinks. Gave us some bread. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue pickles, sauce. Pickles, onions. Pickles and onions all came with it. We're gonna try the uh, the ribs here. So there we go. Nice smoke ring. Take a good bite of this. Mm. Nice and tender. Falls off the bone. All I can do is pull at that. Look at that, just rip right off. Awesome. Here we go. We're gonna give the brisket a shot and good smoke ring. We'll take a nice, uh, nice piece of that. Give it a try. Nice. Oh my God, it's excellent. Go for the sausage. Sausage? Yeah. Give that sausage that a try. Looks, that that looks, looks really good. Really good. Yes, it does. Oh my god. You can tell it's freshly ground. Sausage supplier is awesome. If you guys are in the area, Henry's Barbecue, Austin, Texas. Again, this is Donald from Dr. Smoke. Thanks for watching.